As Eastern Europe grapples with increasing instability, the Republic of Belarus has announced a significant reinforcement of its military presence along the Ukrainian border. The move comes in response to what Belarusian authorities describe as a looming threat from Kiev. According to Alexander Volfovich, Secretary of State of the Belarusian Security Council, Minsk fears a potential military provocation from Ukraine. The situation has grown more urgent following the interception of around 10 Ukrainian drones on September 5, coupled with the presence of 14,000 Ukrainian soldiers stationed at the border. Belarusian officials assert that the recent troop mobilization is a defensive measure intended to prevent any surprise attacks. The government cites intelligence reports indicating a two-year-long Ukrainian military presence near the border, heavily fortified with mines and defensive lines. The Ukrainian force, estimated at 14,000 troops, is seen as a growing threat, particularly when compared to the fewer than 4,000 Belarusian soldiers stationed in the Moser and Gomel regions. Despite this disparity, Belarus has taken proactive steps to strengthen its border defenses. Reports suggest that military reinforcements have arrived in the area, bolstering Belarus' readiness for potential conflict. Adding to the tension is the systematic marking of military vehicles with the letter B, which has sparked concerns among Ukrainian observers. This marking, visible on Soviet-era vehicles used by both Belarusian and Russian forces, is seen by some as a signal of an impending offensive. In response to the increased military presence, Belarus has begun constructing new defensive lines, equipped with heavy machinery and designed to repel any potential offensive from Ukraine. The use of drones by Ukraine in recent operations has also prompted Minsk to expand its anti-drone capabilities, further escalating the militarization of the border. On the Ukrainian side, officials have dismissed allegations of preparing an attack on Belarus. Kiev maintains that it is Belarus that may be preparing for a military move, though Ukrainian intelligence has yet to confirm the existence of a Belarusian troop formation capable of breaching Ukraine's defensive lines. Ukrainian forces, too, have fortified their border with anti-tank weapons, mines, and Czech hedgehogs, positioning themselves to repel any potential armored advance. The border militarization between Belarus and Ukraine is occurring against a backdrop of deep mistrust and heightened tensions. Security experts warn that the troop movements and defensive preparations could lead to a prolonged standoff, with the risk of military incidents increasing. These actions, which Belarus sees as necessary for national defense, are interpreted by Ukraine as a sign of offensive intentions, further entrenching both sides in a cycle of escalation. What complicates matters is the perception gap between defensive and offensive actions. The buildup of forces, while framed as precautionary by Minsk, raises alarm in Kiev, leading to reciprocal moves that fuel the militarization spiral. This dynamic, where both nations see the other's actions as provocations, creates a volatile environment where misunderstandings or miscalculations could lead to conflict. With Belarus and Ukraine fortifying their respective borders, the likelihood of a flare-up in the region remains uncertain. As both sides brace for possible confrontation, the situation highlights the fragility of security in Eastern Europe. Whether tensions will lead to actual conflict or settle into a prolonged period of uneasy standoff is unclear, but the militarization along the northern border of Ukraine signifies a dangerous new chapter in the already complex geopolitical landscape of the region. The coming weeks and months will be critical in determining whether diplomatic channels can alleviate the growing pressure or if Eastern Europe is on the verge of yet another flashpoint. The future of the border region remains in the balance, with both Belarus and Ukraine preparing for the worst while hoping to avoid a larger escalation.